what are tuples and what is their usage in Scala. Now tuples are used in other programming languages as well like Python. So if you're familiar with Python, you will understand what tuples are. Uh, but let's understand what tuples is, right? So tuples are basically ordered collection of elements and they are often used to hold a small fixed number of values of different types, okay? And tuples are quite versatile and they can store elements of any type, right? Including other tuples. So you can create a tuple and uh, one of the element could be another tuple. So that's what tuples are basically to create or to store some data of different types so we'll see that uh, an example so here i have created a scala class a scala object now here i have created a tuple this is how you create a tuple this is a tuple name i have given it as my tuple so you can see different types right integer string and double so this is your integer then you have a string value and then you have a double value so any type of data can be stored in the tuple now how do you access this data so this is number one this is number two number three right so basically you give a tuple name you say a dot and then uh, underscore one would be your first element underscore two would be a second element underscore three would be your third element this is how you are accessing the tuple and once you are accessed so here what i am doing is i am basically assigning this tuple values to the variables like first element second element and third element and here also i am doing a pattern matching so whichever pattern is matching uh, that particular uh, case statement will be printed like for example my pattern my tuple so my tuple pattern is basically integer uh, then i have a string and then uh, there is basically a double value right so if you look at this uh, this is the one which is matching right so the first element is one second element is this one right so this is what is matching uh, second case does not match because uh, the third uh, element is number uh, but here we have double okay so let me save this and i am going to execute this to show you the output so you can see here like first element is one second element is dollar string which is hello so this is how tuples are you create a tuple you can have any type of data within the tuple and then you can access this tuple using a dot notation underscore one would be the first element underscore two would be second element and so on right so this is what tuples are i hope this was helpful and i'll see you guys in the next class